Yes. Hey, how's it going? What's up, dude? How are you? Good. How about you? I'm good, man. Hey, you guys just got a puppy like a year ago or something, right? Two years ago now. Yeah, we just adopted a puppy a couple weeks ago. So like my whole life has been revolving around this dog. What happened to your, what happened to Peanut? Uh, she got like, she got pancreatitis out of nowhere and ended up like we had to take her to like an ER vet for like a, a week and she just like stopped eating and then she died. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. Damn. Um, yeah. So that was like a couple months ago. All right. Starting off on a positive foot. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Um, all right. Thank you for joining me today. Of course. I, I thought, you know, it'd be a fun collaborative tier list video to do this with you. How familiar are you with minor league baseball team mascots? There's like one minor league team near where I live. Okay. And that is the only minor league team I know. Uh, and which, which one is that? They're called the Kane County Cougars. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. that's probably, that's like more normal than the ones that we're going to review. <laughs> All right, minor league baseball teams, what I've learned are, uh, their mascots are oftentimes very, very bizarre. So we're going to rank them today. We're going to do a collaborative tier list. Uh, and we're going to start out with the Albuquerque Isotopes. This is the mascot. His name's Orbit. Okay. <laughs> so an isotope has something to do with chemistry, right? I believe it's, it does. Yes. Okay. So it's like, it's, I think it's a type of atom that has like a different amount of electrons than protons. Which this totally represents. Yeah. So th <laughs> this must be what scientists see when they look in like a microscope <laughs> at an isotope. It's just like a fuzzy little bottom heavy guy. And they've never told any of us except for the Albuquerque isotopes that this is what an isotope actually looks like. Wait, what is Orbit? Is that the name of the team? That's or the name that... of this guy. He's oh, Orbit. Is it about space or is it about like electrons? I don't get it. I have no idea. What does Orbit have to do with it? Um, here's a little meme though. Orbit, need we say more? <laughs> I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Honestly, they do. I think they do need to say more. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know more actually. <laughs> yeah. What do you What do you think? What tier are we putting Orbit in? He seems like a friendly guy. I just don't really understand what the fuck his whole vibe <laughs> has to do with the name of the team. He does, he does seem kind of friendly. He's definitely less scary than some of the ones we're going to review today. There's okay. So also what, like the rings around his arms look like it's like related to like the rings of Saturn. Saturn or something. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. So like, and he, it has even less to do with isotopes. <laughs> Feels like they just kind of threw a bunch of science. Yeah. They cobbled space. together like, a bunch of different kinda, science it's things. It's kind of nerdy, the nerdy shit, you know? Um, you know what? I think that it's kind of hard for me to say without seeing a bunch of other, you know, mascots for reference right so i think we just put let's put him in c he seems like a little bit of a middle of the road type of guy i like that i like that give us kind of like um like a uh you know what are they what do you call it in an ex in a chemistry experiment a control uh an isotope an isotope <laughs> that's what it is right okay next up we have the aberdeen Ironbirds, and these are the mascot's name is ripcord and ferris here they are <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is one of them always a Jedi? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Maybe that was just like Star Wars Day or something like that. Or maybe this was Halloween. Okay. It's uh, kind of funny okay. to dress up like something dressed up like something else. Yeah, that's really interesting. <laughs> I kind of want to, for Halloween, dress up as, uh, what is it? Ripcord? I want to dress up as <laughs> Ripcord as a Jedi for Halloween this year. <laughs> no, I want to dress up as the guy dressed up like Ripcord dressed up oh. like a Jedi. So you have to find out what he was wearing underneath the mascot <laughs> costume and put that on underneath. These are the guys that are usually under, oh, the, under the costumes. I, oh, I thought you were going to say those are the mascots and the one in the middle is actually a player on the team. That's Rip Corden Ferris. Okay, what do we think? You know what? Yeah, I was going to say it's it's a little bland. They're just birds. Yeah. Like at not... least Isotope has like a lot. He's got a lot going on. He's got yeah. like the whole Rings of Saturn thing. These are just two birds, and honestly, nerdy birds. Yeah, the, like the, if you have to dress like something else in order to like convey a little bit of personality, that means you're not really doing your job as a mascot. So yeah, that's I'm gonna true. go E probably. You cool with that? Yeah, okay. that's good. Next up, we have the Missoula paddleheads, and it's a moose. I mean, I'm a fan of this because is a, is a paddlehead a, a common like word for a moose? Never heard that in I'm my not entire well life. Never okay. heard that. I've never heard most of these team names. It's like they just made something up. <laughs> so when you Googled Paddlehead, the first thing that came up was the 
the baseball team. So yes. it's like this isn't a thing no, anywhere other than Missoula. Yeah. Anything other than on the baseball diamond. Maybe they were hoping it would catch on and people would start calling mooses paddleheads and it just never <laughs> happened. I mean, it just look, looks like a moose. It looks like a baseball player became a moose because yeah. he's got like that goatee that a lot of baseball players have. <laughs> okay. okay. And he's wearing the, the baseball uniform. I mean, look it's at like that. A, look at that. Do they let him play on the team? That'd be really cool. I think they probably do. I, honestly, I don't like him. I got to be honest. You don't, but he's a, I mean, I'm a Canadian, so I like moose. I like meese. Okay. You know? So I'm a fan. So we, should we like land somewhere in the middle and maybe go see? Um, yeah, I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to go see too. Okay. A compromise. See for compromise. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let's just go ahead and put every mascot in C tier <laughs> except for Ripcord and Ferris. <laughs> no, there's there's one that I really, really hate. Okay. Coming up. Uh Montgomery Biscuits. Oh, this is the one. Big Mo, his name is. <laughs> this thing oh. this thing abducts children for sure. I mean, look at this picture. Look at Oh this. my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> look at this piece of shit. <laughs> Dude, fuck this guy. I know, right? What is he supposed to be? I like a I don't a biscuit? An elephant? I have no oh, idea. Yeah. Is he a biscuit? <laughs> he's like the he's like the dough of a biscuit before you cook it. He's just kind of like this melty blob. I right, look at how just horrifying this thing is. It's definitely gonna eat that child. Oh my it god. It snorts up children through that little fucking trunk and it's yeah, he just stores them in here. He is kind of thick though. <laughs> like if you, I, I mean, like from the front, he's kind of a horrific sight. But if he turned around, I might, I might put him a little higher up on the tier list. <laughs> Damn, Biscuit's got that wagon, dude. If I was at Wait. one of these games, I might like spill my popcorn to see if he'd bend over to to clean it up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that a tail? Does he have like a beaver tail? I don't know. Dude, I love that the 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 player is not even looking at him. He's like, <laughs> get the fuck, yeah, get the Biscuit, fuck away from wait, me, dude. What is his name? Big Mo? Is that what? Big Mo? Yeah, Big Mo's like, hey, I'm here to entertain you. <laughs> hey, man. He's like, We're in the middle of a fucking game. This dude, is in get the middle off of a the play. field, bro. <laughs> I don't suppose you could point me towards the nearest child, could you? <laughs> There's like hundreds in the stand, dude. I don't know what you. <laughs> I mean, I think it's safe to say this lumpy idiot is going in F. Yeah. Can we agree on that? Yeah, maybe B tier if he turned around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, Pensacola Blue Wahoos. I was kind of wondering what a um a wahoo is, and this does not answer my question. <laughs> what is this thing? Is this a dinosaur? It's either a dinosaur or like some kind of fish. Like he's got little like fins or something on his head. I think it's supposed to be this fish right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. He kind of looks like a seahorse. <laughs> Can you imagine if the mascot actually was a fish that didn't have like arms or legs? So it's just like this guy laying in a costume and he just like flops around on the field. And just constantly dying. Yeah. Put me back That'd in the sick. water. The, there's like staff that have to drag him on and off the field because he can't actually walk. What do we think of this guy? Honestly, he's kind of cool. Well, he reminds me of the cookie monster a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mixed with like a mermaid or like the Loch Ness monster. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm liking like the kind of Aquaman vibes. Yeah. He definitely has like a different feel to him. He's yeah. he's fun. He's not he doesn't look like a child molester. Yes, I agree. He's got some personality he's smiling here. I think this guy would actually pump me up for a game. Yeah. Look I think he'd pump me up field. real good. Yeah. Oh, look at with a water gun. How fun is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's definitely some sort of water creature. Yeah. Okay. I like Maybe him. he sprays that on himself so he doesn't die when he's like not, <laughs> not in the water. <laughs> uh, should we go what do, what do you think? Yeah, I think B tier. Okay, B. Let's do B. All right, Quad City River Bandits. Where's Quad City? Never heard of that in my whole life. And this um, man that's, is fucking That's scary. where I go to do my squats. <laughs> Quad City. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's what I call the gym, motherfucker. This He's song? like laying on his tummy. I don't like that. <laughs> that's creepy. That's super creepy. He looks like so, he's about to go rob a bank. They, yeah, that's what I was about to say. I guess his name is Bandit. His costume kind of just looks like pants on the bottom. Like, it doesn't actually look like a costume. It just looks like furry pants <laughs> and, like, leather shoes. I mean, that as you said, the name implies that he's a criminal. He's a fucking criminal. Yeah. You know, that doesn't 
exude positivity. Is he and, holding a gun? And I, <laughs> Cheer, motherfuckers! <Yeah>. Louder! <laughs> oh, this is ah, yeah! Yeah, river bandits! Dude, at some baseball games, they have those t-shirt guns that they shoot into the crowd. <laughs> this dude actually just shoots people. He just has a gun gun. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we think? Um, I honestly kind of respect him a lot. I... I, I like him. I will say he's like, he looks so fucking cool, except right in the eyes. He looks really sad. Yeah. But I'm so, willing to put him in A tier. A tier. Okay. A tier. I like that. Yeah. Cool on the outside. Maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, turmoil on the inside. Yeah. I'm getting kind of like Drake vibes. Yeah, from exactly. <laughs> Certified river boy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the Fort Wayne tin caps. If this... If it were me, I would have called them potheads. That would have been way better. Oh, that's good. But this guy freaks me out, actually. So I definitely have a problem with them <laughs> making the mascot a human <laughs> and like <laughs> making the human wear a human costume. <laughs> it is pretty creepy. It's like, it's like, what must the person under the costume look like <laughs> where they had to dress them up in a human costume to make them look like a human? He looks exactly like this. He's just a Russian doll. <laughs> He's like, he looks all like, like lumpy and stuff. Does he look like that underneath too? Yeah, he does. I'm also, this picture freaks me out because he actually looks like he's holding this like a gun, like he's miming. <laughs> like, you know, I don't yeah. you know. And it was cool when the out. raccoon did it, but. Not when a this... human, not when a white man does it. <laughs> no. I, I'm comfortable going pretty low with this guy. What do you think? I, I would say E E tier. He's okay. not quite as disturbing as uh what's his face? Big Mo. Yeah. <laughs> big Mo is a big no. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna put him right above an E tier. I think that's fair. Okay, let's stick with E there. Okay, we got the Amarillo sod poodles. What you is, know what? I'm kind of getting male stripper vibes a little bit from this. That's it's like, funny you said that because I was gonna chip and yeah. I mean, yeah. I was going to say he looks like Chip and Dale. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I'm getting, you know, a little bit uh, maybe like a promiscuous type of energy from this. It's funny because like he does. I agree. He does give off stripper vibes. But if he was a stripper, like he he is kind of already naked. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if a stripper showed up to like your bachelorette party just wearing a belt and boots? <laughs> All right. Like, I'm going to take off my little vest. OK, I like, can already see your cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't see my collarbones yet. Yeah. Oh. Or my hip bones. Yeah. We can't we got what we came here for already. I think B. Okay. I'm I I'm good B. with that. Because also, like just as a mascot, he's really friendly. You know what? He's I will re say he's really friendly. He looks friendly, and the character design is a lot better than some we've seen. Like this looks like it could be like a Disney character yep. mascot. Yep. I agree. Next up is the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Okay, is this going to be another raccoon character? Because he's got a lot to live up to. If yeah, he but he's in a trash can. He is a trash can. <laughs> he is a trash can. <laughs> the, uh, Who the fuck the... came up with trash pandas? What in God's name? What do, what horrible place do you do you live that it's just overrun with raccoons and trash cans everywhere? Yeah. I'm like, what if we what should we name our team? Um, well, there's always raccoons eating out of the garbage <laughs> that's littered in the streets. So we could go with that. Why is the trash can also a rocket? His name. Yeah, is look. Oh, yeah, it is. Wait, what's his, his name? name? Wait, wait, Sprocket. I will say again on this one, it, this looks like a very <clears throat> clean design. Yes. Whoever they paid to make this is definitely like, you know, higher budget tier. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of fuck with him, honestly. Yeah, he's cool. <clears throat> I think he could be a character in like an animated show or something like that. I know. It kind of, I don't know. For some reason, it reminds me of Paw Patrol, which I've only watched one or two times with my nephews. Okay. But he does kind of have a Paw Patrol vibe about him. I'm thinking he could go B or higher. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go A. And I swear I've only watched Paw Patrol a few times with my nephews. I swear. And it's always been with my nephews. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't watch it without them. No. Never individually. Mm -hmm. And and they always are the ones that want to turn it on. I yeah. don't wait for them to come over and say, can we watch Paw Patrol now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next up. Asheville. Oh, this is the worst. Asheville Tourists. They actually made their mascot a fucking tourist. So is that a person? It's a base. It's a giant <laughs> baseball. I guess this is like what a tourist, you know, it's like, oh, we're visiting 
Asheville for the day. Let's go to a baseball game. This is what they look like, you know? Yeah, what is all over his face? Is it like he just has like blue shit on his face? Is that supposed to be like sunscreen or something? Like he's... I don't know. I don't, that's a great point. What is that? Or uh, did uh, Big Mo leave something all over his face? <laughs> <laughs> that little like stuffed figurine. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> that would make children cry if you gave this to a child. Yeah. Yeah, I really hate his face. I hate it. I really hate it. I think I'm comfortable going pretty low. I mean, E, we could even go F. I could even go. So I would say that E is just for like bad mascots and yeah. F are for ones that I hate. And yeah. I think that I hate him. Okay. <laughs> I think that I agree, actually. Next up is the Hartford Yard Goats, of course. The I mean, this is fucked up. <laughs> Get these things off my screen. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, my God. Why would they do this? This is horrifying. Every child in this stadium, which I guess is like, there's like two, is crying. They look like pinatas, and I don't know if that's because of like the way they're colored or if it's because I want to beat the shit out of them <laughs> with a bat. Horrifying. This looks like a bad mm. acid trip, doesn't it? <coughs> yeah, they're like so bright and colorful, and I, I really don't fuck with that. Hey kids, do you like baseball? That shit eating grin too, <laughs> and they probably do eat shit because they're goats. Hartford Yard goats, I mean, I'm comfortable <clears throat> going bottom with this I yeah yeah i hate them horrifying we still haven't had an s tier which is kind of interesting no i'm kind of surprised um i mean my heart is open i'm ready for an s tier to come into my it's life it's gonna be anything i think it's gonna be the uh lansing lug nuts i love this guy what's his name big lug his name's big lug <laughs> does he have lug nuts for nostrils <laughs> yep or is he just inhaling the, the <laughs> lug nuts so they're stuck to his nose? He kind of looks like a rapper a little bit. Like, you know, the side. He's hat, actually like, kind of got a little swag, you know? He is actually so fucking cool. My one concession about him is uh, there's a picture that shows him from the side and his huge fucking oh, lumpy that's, tail. That's horrible. <laughs> it looks like he's got like a big purple poop coming out of his butt or something <laughs> all the time. <laughs> What does he have a sidekick? I think he's got a sidekick. Big lug and ratchet, dude. I, okay, I'm sold. Yeah, I think we got to go ask for that. Next up, we have the Modesto Nuts. Their names are Shelly the Pistachio, Wally the Walnut, and Al the Almond. <laughs> There's three of them. Oh yeah. I thought that was bacon. <laughs> What if it was like the pistachio, the walnut, and then just the like the balls? <laughs> All your nuts right here. There's just a scrotum. <laughs> okay, so I guess this, this is like the new version. He looks pretty cool there. Hmm. He definitely looks more like an almond. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think there's, you know, the thing about three people being the mascot is that there are going to be some that are holding the team up and some yeah. that are, you know, pulling them down. That's an excellent point. Yeah, I feel like like C or D is fine. We have nobody in D right now, so just just for balance sake. I That's think true. D. Yeah, I guess you could say D's nuts. Okay, next up we have the El Paso Chihuahuas. I kind of like this guy. My first thought was like I was worried about the health of this Chihuahua. What do you mean? Like, he just looks like, look at his ears. They're all chewed up. Look at his eye. He's got like a scar. He looks yeah, a little malnourished. Yeah, this dog's been on the street for a while, I think. The inside like, of his pupils are red. I don't know also, how that happens. He also, to me, looks batshit insane. <laughs> yeah. I think he's been on the streets for a little too long. Yeah, I mean, he like um, he gets into trouble, you know? Like, he yeah. does not give a single fuck. Like, he'll just punch a player in the face and then, like, do a 360. <laughs> On his own team. Yeah. Man, fuck you, you know? Yeah, that'd be insane. I would like to see that type of energy in a mascot. They're all, to be honest, a little bit too friendly and fun and happy-go-lucky. And supportive, like, too. Yeah, I'd like to see one that's not afraid to, like, scrap with the players. Yeah. Start some shit. Like, not even a fan of the team. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, getting know. a blowjob in the back of the stands. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even watching the game. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's an actual badass. Yeah. That's why I think he should go higher than the raccoons, actually. Because this... Yeah, like he could actual... go S here. Yeah. We got three more. Uh, the Hillsborough Hops. Is this, so, is this what a hop looks like? I don't know what a hop looks like. Yeah, I have no idea what a hop looks like. I've drank plenty of them. Oh, I've 
definitely drinking a hop before. Oh, yeah. I mean, give me some some cold liquid with some suds and some hops in it. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm down in that sucker. I honestly, you know, I drink so many hops that the, the bartender's like, hey, do you want some beer with that hops? Yeah. <laughs> I just drink so many, so many at a time. Uh, yeah, so I do. Anyway, like this beer. guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, <this> guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like him. Yeah, he's just kind of like, I mean, I, I just don't really get it. And I don't really care about hops. So They were trying to go for something here, like, you know, something kind of clever and, you know, something that the city's known for. Maybe they got a lot of, a lot of craft breweries or something, but it's like they oh, just yeah. missed the mark completely. When I think about Hillsboro, I do think about hops, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah, hopping the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> uh I mean I'm cool going D to or maybe E. What do you think? Ye, uh yeah, I'm I'm gonna say E. Ye. For sure. Uh next up we got Everett Aqua Socks. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this? Why would you show me this? You know what I think? is really turning me off of this guy is his red eyes. Yeah, it looks, like he's, so been up, it looks like he's been up for three <laughs> weeks straight on like a meth binge. He probably just reeks like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why his eyes are so red. He's been smoking. Yeah. I almost want to say I hate him. <laughs> but not quite? N- not quite. Okay. He could, he could go and eat here. Okay. And last but not least, the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Well, Scampy? <laughs> there he is right there. Yeah, his name's Scampy. I'm that I mean, that looks like so many things, but a shrimp definitely <laughs> isn't one of them. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same page cuz shrimp are not shrimp do not have long fur. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like it'd be one thing to just give him a fuzzy costume, but this fur is like golden retriever fur. It's like yeah. hanging off of him. It doesn't make yeah. any sense. Yeah. A furry shrimp? That makes me feel really weird. Why didn't they just dress him up like my dick, you know? Oh. Uh. Do you get it? Yeah, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bummer of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, dude, I got to hand it to you. That's one of the saddest jokes I've ever heard. <laughs> you know, in this case, this is probably one of the only times I'd want to eat shrimp cake, if you know what I'm talking about. Holy shit. Jeez. You know what? I think I have to I, I think I have to agree with you, though. <laughs> If you showed me this mascot and asked me to tell you what kind of <laughs> thing it was, shrimp would be the last thing I would say. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's pretty hilarious actually. I actually think it's a it's a good thing that it looks nothing like what it's supposed to. I think that's kind of like rebellious and and dope. Well, I'm, you know what? You're right, and I didn't consider what if he did actually look like a shrimp? And that would be so scary. If yeah. there was like a giant giant shrimp with like all the shit coming <laughs> like, you know, walking around. Yeah. What's the verdict? Last one here. I respect the design choices. Um, and he does have quite an ass. I think <laughs> I could I think I could put him in B tier. I think B. I'm comfortable with B as well. All right. That's it. That's, That's all? List. That's it. That was the last one. I'm sure there are more minor league baseball teams, but I think these are like the weirdest mascots. Okay. Well, you know what? I think that I learned a lot. And I think I I might uh, be I might pick up some tickets to go see some of these guys in person. <laughs> Here, let us know in the comments if you agree. You know, kind of light up the comments. Light up your... these comments like the raccoon bandit would light up the crowd <laughs> at one of their games. <laughs> Press the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, dude. Thanks. I appreciate yeah. it. Hell yeah! Thanks for having me. Thanks um, for watching, everyone. Go subscribe to Danny, uh, but you already do. You know, he's hilarious. And that's uh, the only reason you're here, baby. It's because you're subscribed to me. <laughs>